Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of The Personal Project, a personal development podcast where I, Katie Arrington, a digital artist and aspiring life coach, discuss my personal project, me. (laughs) I struggled with anxiety, depression, insecurities, self-loathing, procrastination, you name it. And this podcast is my weekly update on what I'm doing to create a better life for myself. So let's get to it. As you guys noticed, I actually have an intro this time, uh, just to make it all, you know, a little more professional, podcasty, all that good stuff. And I also have a name now, uh, which is, I went with the personal project. Thank you to Juan, um, hope I say your name right. Um, he suggested another name called Growing Inside Out, and that was a really good name. I almost, I almost went with it, um. But I went with per- the personal project because I just really like that it's kind of like a play on words with um, artists when they say like, oh, this is a personal project. This is what they're doing in their own time. Well, my personal project is my entire life, <laughs> is me as a whole. Um, so, yay, I have a name. Um, okay, so I also said that I want to start making this an actual weekly thing. Um I'm going to I'm going to like work on doing that. So that's going to be nice. But I really did need that um that first few episodes to just be like I'll just do it when I can. Like I know I'll keep going, but like I can't put too much pressure on myself in the beginning and that really helped a lot because I think I so I told you guys in the first episode I think I was really scared that I wouldn't even make it past three episodes, like, then it it would be done, I would, you know, be overwhelmed with too much shit in my head, but hooray, we made it to episode five, I'm so proud of myself, honestly, um, yeah, so, um, I don't actually know how long it's been since the last episode, but I know that the last thing I talked about was my breakup, and, um, I'm doing much better, um, still a sad situation, still, like, you know, it's, it's still shitty, right? But, um, I think I'm, I'm doing pretty good in terms of just, like, okay, like, I learned a lot from it, and now I can really move on and, um, yeah, just look forward to some new things. And a problem that I had was that I had a lot of options. I had a lot of things to be excited about. And um, yeah, it was just like, I was just getting really overwhelmed with all the all the possibilities, I guess. Cause like, I told you guys that I am really, like I can really live anywhere that I want, which I know is a good problem, but it, it, it is very overwhelming. And then also like, now that I have just more freedom too with my time, freedom with like what, like nobody else is kind of relying on me, I guess, to make a certain amount of money, all that kind of stuff. Like I was just, I had all these ideas and like, I was just getting like too, I was really overwhelmed. I really wasn't sure which way to go. And so uh, I had a coaching call with my life coach and and so she asked me the question that everyone should ask themselves if you ever have like too many things to choose from just ask yourself this like if if all possible routes that you take you're going to be super successful it all goes really well no matter what it's going to be successful which route would you take and i really didn't have to think about it all that much um and for me it's really weird to say this but it's YouTube um I keep coming back (laughs) you know like I just keep coming back and um it's just like I knew I was just like yeah I just really want to do it and it's not that I I don't really know if I want to call myself a YouTuber I mean, I guess I would be, um, but there's, you know, I really, I want to be an artist and another thing that I really want to be is a life coach as well. So like, it's not that I'm looking to be a YouTuber, like I'm not aspiring to be, 
Jenna Marbles or I'm not aspiring to only do art on YouTube. I'm not really sure, but like, I just really know that I learned so much about myself because of YouTube. Like art was, is a challenge, is really challenging, right? Like to be an artist, it's really, really challenging to put your stuff out there to like, you know, put something out that's very subjective. And then, and then when I found YouTube, I started uploading stuff to YouTube as well, like my art and just, you know, things like that. And, and that made it even worse, right? Like it, 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 uh, it revealed to me even more like my brain drama, I guess. It was like art's hard and on top of that YouTube is hard. And like I had so many hi hiatuses and it's just this, I just have this like feeling like, yeah, I really, I just know that I really enjoy it. I love the, I, I love like the idea of, of putting out videos and being a full-time person with that. But in the past for me, it was always like mental drama that that stopped me. Like I I clearly found success when I first started YouTube, but like my mental stuff just totally got in the way, which only now makes me really like, oh man, like I wanna conquer this, you know? Like I really I really want to get over my bullshit and YouTube has been like the most clear, clear like obstacle for me. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't really struggle when it comes to finding a job after school. Um, but YouTube was like the biggest roadblock, I guess. and. I just, I, I like knew that I was always going to come back to it because I wanted to overcome my stuff. I really wanted to overcome it. And seriously, guys, like if you, if you're interested in getting into personal development or you're interested in like working on yourself or working on your mind, either, yeah, YouTube would be a great one. Being a blogger would be a great one. Like in any kind of form where you actually have to put yourself out there. And I think more so than than only like putting your work on Instagram. I mean, of course, you can do that for sure. But there's something about like long form um, work as well. Like when you do stuff on YouTube or when you write a blog, you know, like the work of putting your art out there is more than just a click of a button. Um, and so there's it's it's really challenging and you will learn so much about yourself that way. Um, yeah, so anyway, like I said to her, yeah, like I've always wanted to go full time with YouTube. Like I've always, I've never let myself do it. And so when I talked to her and we like, were like, yeah, it looks, it sounds like that's really what I wanna do. I really wanna pursue that. Then like we talked on like a Wednesday or something and then that weekend with like this it was like after she asked me that I kind of just gave myself permission to really go for it and just see just see what I could do if I really didn't judge myself and I just like gave myself permission I made five I filmed five videos in in one weekend which is really really ridiculous to me um, yeah, I was just like really excited. I had all these ideas and I was just like writing a lot about like all the topics I want to talk about when it comes to, um, art and mind management and emotions and thoughts and personal development and coaching. Like, eh, it was just really good. It was really good. And it was like a good, um, I guess confirmation how much I really want to go for it and you know like it's hard it's really hard not to judge yourself because 
like every kid right now wants to be a YouTuber, you know, like everybody does because there's just so much freedom. There's so much glamour to that lifestyle, I think. Um, I really want it just because I want to spread my ideas. Like I love personal development. I really love talking about the mind. Um, and so I just really, it's a marketing tool, right? Like it's also a marketing tool to like, for people to know what I can do for them, like how I can help people as well. So yeah, it's just really exciting. But again, it's really hard not to judge because you know, the the voice in my head is like, like, who do you think you are? <laughs> who do you really think you are that you think that you could have a successful channel? Um, or that you can actually like, you know, do this, th that this can actually be, like lead to something that you could actually maybe like make money with this. Like, like this is everyone's dream. Like what makes you think that you can do it, I guess. And and to be honest, though, like I've recently gotten really good at like if I'm afraid or if I'm if my if my voice is saying that, like if my voice is saying things like, who do you think you are, then that's more reason to do it because that's where I'm going to grow the most. And yeah, it's it's really cool. So anyway, like um, I recorded five videos and like, <laughs> you know, you grow in one section and then you definitely hit another limiting belief of some kind or something you have to deal with it with in your mind where, yeah, it's not like personal growth, you know, there's no destination. It's, it's a way of life. It's like you just get, you'll get something else in your brain that you have to tackle and have to like coach yourself on and, and deal with. And so the next thing is like, oh, wow, I was really prolific in the weekend. But then I started to really overthink everything about like my videos. I was just really scared of like anyone taking what I'm going to say wrong or or someone's going to like misconstrue what I said and just like completely misinterpret my point. Um, or like, what if I change my mind in the future? What if what if I contradict myself? Like all these things was really scaring me about any of the stuff that I was making. And I started thinking like, oh man, I think I need to like redo some. I think I need to rewrite some and I need to see that's that's perfectionism. And I really need to get over that. Um, and I'm going to, I plan to. Um, so I've told myself that I'm not gonna redo um, the video. I'm just gonna put it out there. And, you know, just like if somebody critiques me, I'm going to handle it. Like I'm going to be able to deal with it because, you know, it's funny, like I'm like really, I'm really scared, right? I'm really scared of somebody critiquing me and taking my ideas wrong or like thinking I'm a horrible person or something or thinking I'm stupid. Um, but if I fear it and I don't do anything, like I don't, I don't put the video out or I spend days and just waste time redoing videos until it's perfect, then I'm pretty much saying to myself that I can't handle critique, that I'm not somebody that can, that can face that. And so I need to be okay with putting out B minus work. Brooke Castillo talks about this all the time where she says, you really should focus on doing B minus work. Um, and I know that's really hard because I think everyone has wanted to put out A, right? Like that's what we strive for as kids to try and get A's. But he, she said that this is the reason why you should strive for B minus work. She says that B minus work can change somebody's life. Work that never gets put out there doesn't change anyone's lives. And oftentimes most people really don't care for the A plus work. Like no one cares if you didn't say something perfectly, all that matters is that the work gets out there and then you get better and better over time at making your B minus more like a B plus. Like your B minus um, later on in life is much better than your B minus earlier. So yeah, I just need to be okay with putting out work that I'm like, 
I hope I like said this better. Like I hope my point gets across. Yeah, you know what? I'm just starting out. I really, really want to help people with these ideas. And um, I guess people who are ready to receive it will take it correctly. And then people who don't like what I say, just, I guess, I just have to be okay with it. Um, and so that's the practice, I guess, of just being prolific and putting out work um, uh, the best of my abilities. So yeah, guys, this is kind of crazy, but I'm, I, and I, I'm, I'm gonna try and go for YouTube as full time as I can. Um, I mean, I don't need to be full time with YouTube in order to like make like let's say four videos a month. So I'll have a lot of other time to like do something else. But yeah, we'll see. I have a whole week ahead of me right now where I am making a lot of videos and editing the videos that I've made so far. I'm just really excited. Like it really feels like I'm about to explode is the way she asked me like how do you feel when you think of that and it's like I just feel like really high energy I feel like I've never let myself do what I really want like all of my adult life I've never let myself go for something I really wanted to go for I just judged myself so much or I was just so worried about what other people think and I just want to let myself do it like you know they say You'll never regret going for your dreams. You'll always regret not trying. And I right now, I'm in a very unique position where I, I'm living at home. Like I'm, I'm back with my parents' house after the breakup. So now I don't have to pay rent. You know, I'm, I have a unique position right now. And I want to I wanna go for it. I want to try it. I just want to try it. Because the worst thing that happens is I have to go back to, to doing what I was doing before. Like, that's really the worst thing that can happen. And then that's not really that bad. I don't think it's worth, I, I think it's so worth it to try it now and, and just see what happens. So, yeah, <laughs> like, I can't really, it's really weird to stay, to say out loud still. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it's just really weird um another thing so I told you I was gushing about Japan last um the last time I talked to you guys I'm going to Japan <laughs> I can't believe it honestly like I I decide okay so I'm in and in, I'm in Indonesia and um I have to leave the country during some times because of visa stuff like I have to buy a ticket to like Singapore just fly up there for like a day and come right back like I have to actually do that and so we were think I was looking into flights and stuff and I'm like holy holy crap like it's like 70 dollars just to go on a day trip that means nothing for me to go to Singapore and come back and then I saw that right now, one of the airlines, local airlines here in Indonesia has like a promo and it's $300 return ticket from here to Japan. So <laughs> I did it <laughs> and I bought the ticket and I'm trying really hard not to freak the fuck out. Like <laughs> it's like seriously been my dream since since middle school to go to Tokyo and to go to Japan and again it's another one of those things that like it's been my dream for so long and I've had a lot of opportunities I think to go and in in like sometimes I'll go on trips with friends and stuff and for some reason I just don't decide to go to Japan like or for some reason I just don't end up doing the things that I really want to do I just I think there's just this weird belief around like, you know, I don't deserve it or something like that. Um, and so lately I've just been, you know, really working at like letting myself do the things that I really want to do, like really and with no judgment and just going for it and and just believing that I will figure it out. And yeah, so that's me for now. Um, thanks so much guys for watching. Um, yeah, 
Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Bye.